For me, mental health is, is something we all have. I think often it's thought about as mental health is kind of equated with mental illness and the reality is it exists on a spectrum, on a continuum and we all have mental health. Every single person has mental health and just like physical health, there's things we have to do to foster it. One thing we know just about humans in general is the quality of relationships really determine the quality of people's lives and so we know just for everybody's kind of baseline mental health and well-being, having good relationships, having meaningful relationships, having connections is one of the most important things you can do. And, and those can be on all sorts of, of levels. It can be the little micro interactions with the person at the coffee shop all the way to kind of like deep meaningful conversations with a partner or best friend, but really figuring out kind of how you can connect with people, foster that, that's huge. Other things that are shown to be really helpful are things like practicing gratitude. And again, can be really small, like mm, this coffee is so delicious right now to really big things you're grateful for, like your health. Being able to practice mindfulness, the ability to just be present, um, to be able to notice your senses, notice your surroundings, give yourself a moment to just be with your breath or with the trees or with the sun on your skin. We live in such a like busy go, go, go life that those moments of slowing down can be really helpful for people to do. And for everybody, it's just finding the things that give you little moments of joy, little moments of purpose, little moments of meaning and actually recognizing when those are there can be really helpful. The reality is that there are different levels to the struggles we have. Some we can solve with some self-care and connection and others need the help of a professional just like with any sort of physical ailment we might have. And so I think when people start to notice that what's going on is really impacting their quality of life, their functioning, their mood in a way that's interfering with relationships or work or other important things in life, it's important to seek help, to seek additional support. Uh, for some people that might be finding a therapist that you can talk to, for others it might be about talking to your primary care doctor um, and looking at medication options. Um, it might be about finding a support group depending on what you're going through, but really kind of seeking out the multitude of resources that are there to find a professional and at least as a starting place have a conversation with one to figure out what the recommendations might be, what the best next steps might be. None of us can do it alone, it just kind of depends on what sort of support we need to get through the hard stuff.